Not including this latest shooting, nonprofit gun violence archive counted 385 mass shootings in the United States. I've got retired Honolulu Police Detective Sergeant Gary Lahans with me. Sergeant Detective, this is the reality uh, that we live in now, that at any moment a senseless shooting could happen. I think this is a good time to remind folks of what to do in the event of an active shooter situation. This kind of situation seems to be occurring a lot these days. You have to be very vigilant. A lot of us live in Hawaii, the land of Aloha, right? And we think everything is safe, but times are changing. As you can see what occurred today, and this is the holiday season. Watch where you're going. If you see any type of situation that's occurring, don't be going out there and grabbing your cell phone to try to make the YouTube. Make sure you be careful. Okay, that's so what we're not we... putting it on social media, yes. not thinking about that first. Take okay. care about your family first and yourself. That's what we suggest. You know, when I was working in the police department, I investigated a lot of cases that was involved shootings. And the first thing we always do is approach the suspect and neutralize the situation. That is one of the things that many law enforcement are trained to do. So this is such a tragedy. And one thing I can certainly remember is what happened 20 years ago, something similar. And it happened uh, at the former Xerox building, Byron Uesugi. He opened fire and shot and killed seven of his coworkers. Now, you were working at that time. You retired after 26 years of service. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, but you and the aftermath of that event, you actually worked as a detective for workplace violence and enriching and letting people know what to do. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Prior to CID, I worked on our chief's office, IRS, was a community action program where we were trained to, I went to the mainland to, tra to be trained on that. And we would go to several different businesses to train them in uh, workplace violence or to be aware to look for if a, a co worker is getting disgruntled, signs that something is amiss, to be careful. And if something does occur, what you need to do to prepare yourself so you don't become a victim of that workplace violence. So the department was very active on that. I'm pretty sure they're still active. I think that we should also mention that we don't exactly know what exactly happened in this instance. We don't know if workplace violence was, uh, if there was anything amiss of that. But in the event, Let's just talk about this. What should people know about workplace violence? What do people need to be aware of? One thing I did see, uh, there's a pattern. You know, you'll see sometimes the person is a recluse. He doesn't really interact with a lot of people. He becomes himself. And sometimes you can see some mood swings, something to look for, and some spontaneous outbursts. Those are some, some, something that's occurring in this person's mind. So you need to look at it. You can't just put blinders and say, oh, that's not my business, it's nothing is going to happen to me, because that person's action can become your demise. You have to be careful of that. Okay. And in the event of an active shooter situation, once again, um, what should people do? A lot of people, we work, you know, for those that work in a company, and God forbid this happens at their place of business, what do people need to know to keep themselves safe? Like I said before, when you have an active shooter, someone that's going to put your life at risk. The first thing to do is to find a place to hide, to make sure that you're going to be safe, not to go and approach the suspect, not to put yourself in harm way trying to film him. That's the police department's job, to come and confront the suspect, to neutralize the situation, to make sure that everybody's safe. So you need to be vigilant. You need to be aware of what is a gunshot. People, a lot of people these days, they take things for granted. They think nothing's going to happen to them. It can happen here, as you can see today. It has happened before. So we need to be aware. Although we see a lot of train on the mainland, but we are the 50th state. It's approaching us. Just be vigilant. Yes, be vigilant. Detective Lahans, thank you so much for your perspective. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Justin.